Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Finn, or yet another gaming fell, and today I'm here again with another DCS Mission Editor tutorial. Um, so we're just going to quickly blitz through and look at different options for uh, getting your units to stop and start moving at different points in time. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and place down a unit first of all. Um, we can just start off by having uh, anything we like, I'm just going to quickly switch it to uh, unarmed and then we'll just use the Humvee. Um, what do we got here? Humvee Jeep, cool. So just got a Humvee set up. Then what we're going to do, we're just going to come to the waypoint type down here on the right hand side. We're going to just set it to on road, like that. Okay, and so now we've got this Humvee, he's sat on the road here. And we're just going to hit add and we're going to put a waypoint on the other side of this T-junction. And this is also on road. And then, so uh, we're just going to switch this up to 20 knots. So it should take him about 20 seconds to cross that gap. Okay. So, now we're going to look at different ways to get him to stop and start moving. Um, so, obviously, um, part of the thing involving this is that um, you might want to have a convoy, or you might want to have, um, like, a an ambush scenario. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll just um, really quickly run through how you can use this. So, first of all, you go down to Advanced Waypoint Actions. You can add Hold, like this, and then you can uh, you can hit a template if you want, which would mean they'll spread out. Um, but usually they're spread out pretty far if you base them on like one of these kinds of batteries. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to come to stop condition here. So this gives us the um, information that it'll need to to stop it. So you can either do a timer like this, which would be uh, duration. So this will be uh, I think 15 minutes, and this is so it goes hours, minutes, seconds. So I don't really want to make him wait for 15 minutes because that'd be quite boring. We'll set him to is use a flag. So this means that we can use triggers to change what he's doing. Um, so what we'll do is we will uh, come here. We'll change this to uh, use a flag one is true. So the tick box is true. The unticked is false. So um, all that means is that number one has to have a value. So if we want to change this, uh, we can come here. I've just set set this up. So the trigger just create a new trigger um, as timer. Uh, you come down to conditions, you create a new one and add time more and we'll set it to 60 seconds for the moment. And then uh, we're going to change this flag on to, uh, I think like set flag value, here we are, set flag value of 1 to 1. So this means that flag 1 will have a value of 1. Um, so that's all good there. So we're just going to hit save and hit fly and we'll just quickly demonstrate um, the basics of this and then we'll come back to scenarios on how you might want to use this so um, let's start off we've got our Humvee driving through uh, we'll have to turn off the civilian traffic in a minute uh, but here we are he rolls up and he comes to a stop after about 30 seconds here on the other side and then 50 seconds have passed so we go 5, 4, 3, 2 one and now if his next waypoint he will then move to so uh, the way this works let's just quickly add another waypoint to demonstrate uh, on the other side over here uh, we'll just so that's about the same distance in the in the next direction so here we go like this okay and here we are, he'll come to a stop, and then if he's got another waypoint to go to like this, he'll then set off after a minute. Cool. So how can we apply this to um, to more interesting mission criteria? Well, you can use it for, say, deploying troops. So you could put down a trigger here like this. Uh, we'll just do troop deploy like this. We can set the distance down to about, uh, let's set it to about 30 like this, or what about 40. 40 like this cool uh, and then to simulate dropping off troops we can just add in some infantry I'm not going to show you too much of the detailed stuff around it just how we can uh, apply it to some some interesting things so just create a couple of a uh, couple of guys here and just drag them drag them close by like this and then just add them with a waypoint like over here or something and then we'll just set them to late activation like that so now, uh, if you want to use the the logic on this instead of the timer, which we'll now get rid of, uh, we'll just set to deploy troops, and then 
conditions. So what we're going to do is this guy's going to come up and he's going to come to a stop in this zone. So what we're going to do is we're going to do conditions is going to be um, unit in zone. Where is he? Unit inside zone. Here we are. And it's going to be vehicle one in the troop deploy zone. And then we'll just quickly set this one to be set flag value one to one. And then the other thing that we want to have is so that he's come to a stop. So uh, units speed lower than one. Like that. There we go. And then just to make sure this guy is vehicle one, which he is there. And then the other thing that we'll need to add is just to say that we want to uh, activate this group. So group activate. And it's going to be vehicle one. Cool. So like I say, this is an example. We've got a Humvee coming over here. He slows down to a stop here until um, basically he's fulfilled the criteria where he's dropped these guys off. Um, and then he's going to set off again in the next direction. So what we'll see is that this guy will come in to the zone as expected. He'll stop and then uh, once he's stopped there, these guys will uh, will be deployed, get out, run off and he will continue in his own direction. So we'll just save and go. So this is scenario one and then we'll touch on another scenario in a second here. Okay, so he's going to pull up, he's going to come to a stop, drop those guys off, and then keep going. And then you can see those guys are uh, moving on in their own direction as well there. So, there you are. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty simple way of, say, having a convoy stop and spawn some troops. Obviously, you can um, add some delays in there, um, but that's just an example of what you might want to do. Um, then what we'll do, let's set, let's change this one to call, be, be called Convoy, like this. Um, and then let's just quickly delete this and delete this. And then what we can do as well here is uh, we can get rid of our middle waypoint. So now he only has one waypoint. So the other way that you can use this is you can set hold as a triggered action. So go into the triggered actions here, which is the third tab underneath your vehicle group information. Hit add, perform task and hold and then stop condition again we're going to set the user flag one to true so that means we can turn it off whenever we like and we'll just call this one ambush and then we'll just add a couple of couple more Humvees in here and then we'll just pick the vehicle at the front which should be this guy which is all good and we're just going to call him uh, ambush vehicle like that so what we're going to do, let's just quickly add in a thing. So uh, we'll just delete all of these. We're going to add in a new trigger and we're going to call it ambush, like this. And then we're going to do new and we're going to do uh, condition and we're going to do time more. So this is going to wait until we're, you know, 20 seconds into the mission. And then we're going to come to new actions over here and we're just going to do explode unit ambush vehicle. And then we're just going to set it to like. 100 because we don't want it to be too too massive uh, and then what we'll do is we'll then also uh, add in uh, here we are if we just click triggers and then add in AI task push and then the hold so we'll just quickly save this and then go and so what this will do is this will um, this will check for a trigger condition, so like entering a zone or something like that, and then it will blow up a unit, um, and then they'll react by stopping. So here we are, we're setting off, 10 seconds in, and 20, so it should explode now. There you are. And then you see all of our guys have come to a stop there, like that. And so that's instead of doing the thing that they would normally do, which uh, if we just come back here and delete the trigger, um, let's just delete the hold from there, and we'll delete the hold from here. What they would normally do is when one unit explodes, they would normally kind of like all swerve off the road. So if you want to keep them all on the road in line, um, the best way of doing that is to give them a hold trigger for when a unit has exploded. So <clears throat> here we are, 20 seconds in, like that. And then these guys will otherwise just keep going, unless they're blown up by an enemy unit or something. But yeah, so um, 
that is how to set holds on uh, units for things like uh, ambushes and um, troop deployments, things like that. I um, hope this has been interesting for you. Um, I, I hope that you will uh, check in for future future mission editor tutorials. My name is Fainor, you're into the game of fail. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.